second landscape for Project Free, the landscape painting. This is a painting of Yorkshire. Uh, I'm painting on a stretched paper blue gesso ground, but you'll be using canvas. Okay? As you can see, you can work on a white canvas, or you can stain the canvas a blue, yellow ochre, or a light red colour. It's really up to you. Some people prefer working on a white canvas, some people prefer working on a stained canvas. Now I'm using my brush to sketch out. As I mentioned before, you can use charcoal or a pencil to sketch out the rough layout of the subject. I personally like using a brush. I usually use just one colour to sketch out the basic outline of the forms I'm dealing with. This is a landscape as you can see. And as I move along, and as I move along, you will see I'll gradually build up my understanding by constant scrutiny of the subject. So I keep looking at the subject. Going back to the painting and then mixing colours accordingly to what's in front of me. So as you can see now, I'm beginning to put some colours in, in reference to what I'm looking at. As I mentioned before, I suggest mixing up four or five colours related to your subject before you start painting, because acrylics dry very quickly. And if you have them prepared, you can get them on the canvas quickly, then move on to the next batch of colours. So as you see, I'm just looking at the fields in front of me and uh, beginning to begin the journey, really. I'm adding some yellow ochre, now a green, a light green colour in the background, constantly looking at the subject, going back to the reference material, mixing colours accordingly, blocking in areas quite quickly, quite fluidly. I'm looking at the whole canvas, so I'm not focusing on one area. I'm dealing with the sky, the fields, the trees, the different elements all at the same time, so I have a complete picture and a complete understanding of where I am at this stage of the development of the painting. The sky looks a bit too dark for me at the moment, but again, as I said to you, painting is a layer upon layer process. You go in one dark room, explore that, and when you find the exit, you find yourself in another dark room. I keep re repeating this idea, but that's what painting is, is a process, an evolutionary process, an exploration process. Uh, you know, I've got a rough idea of the picture I'm dealing with now. I've got the sky and the trees roughly locked in. Again, you can see I'm holding a brush like a drum drumstick. I'm putting the colours on very spontaneously, so I'm looking and reacting spontaneously to the subject. And one mark leads you on to another mark. One mark will suggest what the next step is. The main thing is to get the paint on the canvas. And again, you start with thin washes, and when you begin to develop the picture, you add less diluted pigment. That means the paint has less water in, and you start building up thicker film layers of paint. Now I'm beginning to lighten the sky because the sky I'm looking at is much lighter in reality. But I'm mixing several colours into the sky. It's not just one plain blue colour. There's many colours. Some of the blues have violet mixed in, some of the blues have red mixed in, some of the blues have yellows mixed in. Again, refer back to the project one with your colour mixing. If you successfully completed that project, you will begin to understand and develop your colour understanding. 
Again, the sky is becoming lighter on the horizon and it's creating a bit more atmosphere. As you can see, it still looks a bit too grey on the, in the top half of the sky. But you can see the fields, you can see the kind of landscape already coming together. As you can see, the sky is a lot lighter now. The trees be are beginning to show some form and some sense of volume. The mountains and hills in the background uh, create a sense of distance. And in the foreground, you've got the rapeseed fields, the yellow areas, which are fields, farmers' fields. I'm just dealing with the mountain or hill in the background. Going back to the front again, so I've gone from the hill at the back, looking at the front, because some colours will relate to different parts of the picture. So if you mix one colour up for one area, you might find it is located in a different area as well. So don't waste time. Look around the picture. If you find one tone in one area, you're going to find it in another area as well. So you can use that. But like I said to you, like a jigsaw puzzle, build it up gradually. Imagine a painting is several jigsaws put on top of each other. So one layer is one jigsaw. The next layer is another jigsaw. The next layer is another jigsaw and so on and so forth until you reach your destination which is a complete statement. Now, that's as much as I can do today. And I think it's completed. It's got a sense of freshness. And plain air painting is when you're outside working directly from nature, not a photograph. And here's the finished picture. It's a part of a series I've been working on. And here it is. You can see, I think it's got a great sense of depth, great sense of atmosphere. I think the colours create a mood related to the reality of what I'm dealing with. And I think every mark is descriptive and articulate. So good luck with your own landscape. And obviously within the classroom we can discuss things more. Cheers.